Sanjay. Thank you so much for being on the show. So, could you introduce yourself to the general public? To the general, okay. Hi, I'm Daria De Silva. I am a working professional. I work as a designer. And after that, I am a dancer. I'm a dancer at heart, really. Yeah. I think most of you know me as a dancer. And an influencer, let's, let's be honest there. Mm, you said that. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> so, you're a woman of many talents. Let's start with dancing. Yeah. How did it all begin? When did you fall in love with the... Yeah, I was around 11 years old. Okay. And I went for a dance sport competition okay. with my parents. And oh my gosh, I saw these girls in these amazing costumes and the music and it just got to me. Like at that age, I knew, wow, like what have I been missing? This is it. Yeah. So ballroom dance, it was completely new to me. I had no idea what it was, but I was captivated by the costumes and the music. So that's right. what got me into it. And I was around 13. Mm -hmm. My mom thought I was too young to start at 11. Yeah. Not really, no, because kids start really young. But that's so much work though for a young oh, age. No, it's amazing. Like kids start when they're five. I mean, yeah. ballet, dance, they start very young. Very, very young. But anyway, yeah. I started at 13 and I haven't stopped since. So what made you like take it seriously? So if mm. it started just as a passion, what made you take it to the next level? Yeah, so it started off as a passion, obviously. Yeah. But then when I joined the class, I started at Antonio's Dance Circle. Okay. His wife, Michelle, spotted me and asked if I'd like to join the kids' dance team. Okay. And that dance team was a competitive dance team. So okay. they were dancing to compete. Okay. So it's similar to the competitions I yeah. saw. And uh, so that was actually the step that moved me from like, you know, doing regular classes and learning mm. to actually competing. And competing is like completely different. Yeah. So do you still compete? Or? No, I don't sadly. I competed when I, at that age and then I went to the UK also and I competed okay. uh, up until 2004, no, uh, 18 I competed okay. and then I stopped but I mean I'd still love to. Actually, Coaches I'd still don't love play. To. Huh? Coaches don't play. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not that. It's not that. I think it's just finding, now it's finding the right time and getting into that competitive mold because yeah. you have to really dedicate a lot of it's your... different mindset as well. It really is. Uh, I teach, but no, I, I still think if I have an opportunity to yeah. compete, I, I would still love to. So, uh, what do you think about like teaching in general? Do you like it? How's it going so far? We started teaching quite, like, I mean, just a year ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I've always been doing dance, fitness, and I've been teaching like in very, you know, in pockets, not yeah. professionally. And then uh, since we started TNA Fitness, our gym, yeah. I thought, okay, this is my opportunity to start yeah, yeah. teaching dance, right? Because it's something I always wanted to do. And it was uh, the beginning of this place that actually yeah. got me into teaching dance. So it started with COVID 2020. And you all like incorporate fitness and dancing. Yeah, together. yeah. So that's, that's one category that yeah. I do, dance fitness. And then there's the actual Latin ballroom dance that we teach on a Wednesday. And okay. I've also added a new element to it called heels. So that's just like where you get to dance in heels. Uh, dance girls, in heels. boys, anyone will come. Oh yeah, so this is uh, something I had in mind, like I wanted to ask you this. There's this little stigma going around that like dancing in heels, let's say, is pretty feminine. Like mm. uh, this is going around in Sri Lanka, it's a whole mm. misconception. What do you have to yeah, say about that? No way. Okay, maybe now Gosh. it has reduced a bit, but it has, maybe like it? five, six years ago, like Latin dancing is very feminine and when guys do it, you get the eye, you know? You get, you do. I know that has been a stigma for quite some time. It's sad because we, it's very hard to find boys who do ballroom Latin dance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very hard. Little do they know that it's such a chick magnet. Like, you guys are missing out, man. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to pull some, you know, senoritas after you Exactly, and if you see the girls who come for dance, you will know. <laughs> but, no. but on a serious note, I mean, no, it's a really disciplined skill. Yeah. It's it's um, how can I say? There's a lot of technique, a lot of rules yeah. in ballroom dance. And yes, like the boys have to clean up. You know, you've yeah. got to like really dress up and wear the fitted pants. And even the boys have like a slight heel. Yeah. It's you know Latin inspired those styles, so you have to have that look. Yeah. yeah um. I no, I think it's it's an archaic uh, misconception that it's feminine because it really isn't at yeah. all. And most of the guys are pretty jacked up as well. <laughs> they are fit. They're athletic. They're yeah. athletes. If you look at dance sport today, the boys and girls, I mean, they'll be kicking their legs up in mm. the air, doing 360s. Yeah. Like, they're so athletic. They are athletes. So that's why we call it dance sport. 
because it almost entered the Olympics a few years ago and somehow it didn't um, stick yeah. uh, you know like similar to gymnastics I think mm. the scoring system didn't stick or something went went off down that line but it is a sport yeah it is so we consider it a sport so I um, mean let's say TNA fitness it is a business at the end of the yeah. day right? how is the current like economical crisis mm. and the world crisis affected it because a lot of businesses are actually you know, yeah right it's crashed yeah. so to be honest we started we also started in the midst of covid yeah 2020 yeah. so we started online so we didn't have this space at that moment right so we had it's an online platform space, right? i love it it's yeah honestly it's a gem yeah. this space that we found it and uh, so since we had that online platform yeah. we managed to retain that audience and then when we had poor footfall in here yeah. we still managed to like you know keep the online guys going yeah. so we just stayed afloat but it's so nice to have people come in mm -hmm. and you know these few days we've had a decline in people coming yeah. in because of the crisis a shortage, but we understand and we're like look it's okay let's just keep going mm -hmm. now people are coming back and even they they kind of like yearn to come back yeah. they just they want that interaction with people and we've gone through so much so I feel like this space dance fitness just gives them that avenue to like you know blow off some steam just let loose yeah so let's switch to something personal now hmm. so um you do a lot of things right yeah let's say TikTok aside you're a dancer you have a nine-to-five job yeah how do you juggle all of those things Mm, I think I've always been a busy bee. Like I've always yeah. packed my days, months, weeks with like agendas from morning to night. Okay. That's how my life has been and that's how I like it to be honest. Like I was telling you earlier, yeah. if I finished work and came home at a normal time, a normal person yeah, would come yeah. home, I'd be like, now what? So I don't consider it juggling also because I really love what I do after work. Like say yeah, if it's true. dance or teaching dance, most of the time it's dance and I really love it so I don't feel like it's work. Yeah, so it's like a passion basically, it's like a hobby. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So let's talk about dance in general. So is it like a coping mechanism other than like it's a feel, like yeah, obviously you feel good while dancing. But yeah. What else does it give you? Uh, oh my gosh, so like I said, it's a discipline for yeah. me. I mean, of course, it makes me feel amazing. Like it evokes this emotion and yeah. happiness. Like I feel like I'm a different character when I'm dancing because you represent a different uh, style, mood through each dance that you do, right? So definitely it, it brings out a lot of, you know, serotonin, happy serotonin. Yeah. So you become a better, happier person, I feel. Uh, but yeah, from the discipline aspect, yeah. it does teach you a lot, like since um, I'm in the field of teaching kids to compete yeah. and I have competed, you learn defeat, you yeah. learn how to take it and you learn how to rejoice when you win, you learn how to work as a team because sure. it's a partner work yeah. dance. So it's taught me a lot and it's taught me like to work harder as yeah. well because you don't always get the praise and most people think Oh, like, look, you know, she just came out that way, but you, they don't see all the hard, hard yeah, work yeah. and all the sacrifices that you make to get there. And to be honest, we also don't post those things, you know, we yeah. don't put it out there. And sometimes maybe it's, we should. It's yeah. a lot of hard work. It's literally like every sport, if you think about it. Right? It's so much of dedication. You have to be all in. Yeah. So, uh, finally, what do you think about the whole Sri Lankan dance culture right now? It's good. It's good. really good. Like I'm so happy to see like young kids, even yes, even on that. TV, like these reality shows, reality dance yeah. shows. My God, they're so talented. They are so talented. So I think the dance scene here is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I wish more dancers took to like ballet, uh, yeah. ballroom, contemporary, Latin. I know there's a fairly big hip hop community. Yeah. Uh, I think that's more appealing to the younger kids. Yes, I don't know. yes, yes. Acting or gangster. Yeah, <laughs> but you know what? It's it, it's it's what you like. It, yeah. At the end of the day, you do but what fine, you like. But fine, like we have a platform for dancers to come we do. out. Yeah, we do. I think it's, it's about time. Right? It's about time. Unfortunately, we don't have as many sort of competitions in the ballroom Latin world yeah. as we would have liked. Now in other countries, you have mm. it almost every Sunday. I don't know how. Like in cricket, I guess you have tournaments. You yeah. have seasons. And uh, for dance sport, for ballroom, it's less in Sri Lanka. That's the yeah, only yeah, downfall. Yeah. So we kind of travel to other countries to compete uh -huh. if and when we have the opportunity. Other than that, I think the talent 
is there. We have super yeah. dancers in this country. I'm so proud to say that. Yeah. We should just hope for the best and hopefully, you know, sometime soon we'll have a lot of competitions happening in Sri Lanka. Yeah, let's hope so. So yeah. we actually uh, hosted our first dance competition, TNA. Okay. Back in, uh, gosh, when was it? June? When was it? June? Was it June? Was it June? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking people in the room. <laughs> It was June, it was June. Okay. Uh, and uh, that went so well because it was in place of a comp that was supposed to happen and then this whole Aragale came uh, through. Yeah. And uh, most of these kids were working so hard for that comp and we just, they were like, look, we can't come for practice. There's like crisis I mean, yeah. and this and that. And we're like, okay, let's just do a small comp for yeah. the people in our, our school and maybe we'll invite another school okay. just so they feel that, you know, competitiveness. Yeah. And I'm so happy that every school took part. You all managed to all the dancers supported. Yeah, it Damn, was okay. like probably like it was non-profit. Yeah, we just you know wanted to host it for the dancers, and we pulled it off. It wasn't a big do, but yeah. all the dancers took part and they got an opportunity to come and just dance, and that's all we wanted. That so must I'm have been nice. It, it really was. I like, want to watch one of those. Now. I'll show you. We yeah. do have a video, so I'll show you. So now there's another one coming up this August, and okay. then we're hoping to do another TNA comp soon. Oh, November. Yeah, I'll be there up. for sure to watch that. Yeah, why don't you compete? We'll now, see. since I'm training yeah. you yeah, now. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, let's go for the main event now. You get to teach me some moves. I'm excited. Yeah, hopefully, I don't embarrass myself. Thank no, you, you for won't all the time. And let's, go in. let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Yay! That was a good chat, no? Yeah. You always. Okay, so today we're going to learn salsa. You okay. told me to go easy on you. Yep. Yeah, so salsa is quite popular, very yeah. popular dance style, yeah. Latin dance style. Okay. And I think you're going to be able to pick it up quite easy. Okay? Yeah. So first I'm going to teach you the steps facing the mirror. Okay. okay? Just do as I say. Yeah. Alright? Don't be nervous. I'm not, I'm not nervous. <laughs> okay, so as a leader, because okay. we dance as a uh, a partnership. Okay. So as the leader, you will always start with the left foot forward. Okay. Okay. And girls will always start with the right foot back. Okay. But we're both gonna go left foot forward for yeah. the sake of teaching you. So we start left foot forward. We go one. Okay. You step back on two. Okay. No, no. On oh, this leg, like one. Wait, what? Two. Oh, okay. Two and together three. Ah, okay, okay. Now you step back with the right. Five. Six. Seven. So what you did was kind of like that, okay? Yeah. You have to kind of step, step, together, step, step, together. Come on, you got this. So if we go yeah. forward. We go one, two, together, oh, okay. back, and together. Okay, okay. You got to step yeah. up, yeah. okay? Yeah. So we go one, two, together. Mm -hmm. Now back, back, step, together. Yes, okay. again. One, two, three, okay. back, five, Six, seven. Yeah. Again. One, two. Together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go on, go on, go on. This is, so, this is no. supposed to be so easy. It's Why easy. Okay, okay, so the count in salsa. Okay. We just watch, okay? So we go. One, two, three. We hold four. And then we go back. Five, six, seven. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So again, start with the left foot forward. Yeah. It's going to help if you can see yourself in the mirror. You yeah. Can. So let's do it. We go forward, one, two, together, back, five, six, together, there you go, one, two, together, back, five, six, seven, perfect, one, two, three, back, five, see so you're dancing, seven, one, two, three, back, five, six, seven, oh God. yay, okay. so you guys can cut everything and start from here, no, no. <laughs> for sure. Ready? Okay, just get the beat. Okay. Ten, start, six, seven, let's go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, go. Forward and back. And uh. forward and back. Go and forward and back. And look at yourself in the mirror, you get it. There we go. One. Back. Oh God. Side, side, side. Okay. Five. One. Five. One. Five. Five. Let's go back. One. Okay. <laughs> Left. Okay. 
Okay. Left. Yeah. One, two, one. Let's go forward. Ready? Go, go, forward. Forward. Why? Why am I so shy? Hey, I'm late, bro. Yes, 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 open hold okay. okay but a latin hold is like this like this yeah. and you have to hold the girl on okay. her shoulder blade like this yeah this is a latin hold mm -hmm. right is this stressing you out <laughs> stressed out <laughs> go with, <laughs> go with an open hold okay so yeah. this is open hold. Yeah. so as a leader you always have to present your palms upwards like this. okay yes so the yeah. girl will place her okay. hands in yours it should never be like arm leading okay. you okay other way Okay. So, what you did was fine. You did a basic. Mm -hmm. This is a basic forward and backward basic. What you're not doing is you're not stepping in the middle. So you're doing yeah. one, two, three. That's you're not doing mm. the two. One, two, three. Let's try. Mm. And one step. Ah. Back step. Exactly. One step. Exactly. Five step. That's it. As long as you keep that in mind, you'll be okay. Okay. So I'm going to do one more step. Okay. Hmm. It's more work for me, so chill. Oh, okay. okay. So you're going to go one, two, three, back. Mm. Five, six, seven. Now I want you to go one, two, three. You're going to put your hand up like this, mm. like this. Okay. You don't have to hold my hand really hard, okay? okay. So when you indicate this, the girl yeah. knows, ooh, I have to turn. Okay. Yeah, he's asking me to turn. Yeah. But you have to do your backward basic. Go, backward basic. Five, six. Seven. Oh, okay. You turn a girl, yay! I've done that at clubs, but then, <laughs> but then I don't do it like that. I just <laughs> no, exactly. So you should actually never manually turn the girl because in oh, yeah. in Latin dancing, this is enough indication for the girl to know okay. that I have to turn. And you should never hold on to the girls yeah. like this either because you do a lot of like am, hand am moves like turn? that. Well, you can turn if you want. Boys will turn always on a one, two, three. Girls will turn on a five, six, seven. Okay. okay. But okay, let's not let you turn. Yeah, let's yeah, just yeah. me turn. Ready? Let's try. Okay. And let's go. One, two, three, five, six. Ready for the turn? Yeah. One, two, three. Ah, here, this one. Here, here, here. Oh. So it's like an L. You're just making an L. Maybe my arm should be. That's it. That's it. You're making a nice okay. L. L and go. Five, six, seven. So again, you don't have to hold on to my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Eh? Okay. One, two, three, yeah. five, six, make an L. One, two, on the three. Okay, okay. Okay? okay. Yeah. And one, two, three, five, six, make the L on the three. One, two, three. Let's say this, this, this. L, L, L. Okay? L. okay? okay. And don't hold on to yeah. my hand, just keep it loose. Five, six, seven. And on the seven, back, and back down. down. But don't forget your feet. Yeah. So you have to go one, two, three. Yeah. Five, six, seven. Let's go. One, five, one. Now my turn. One, two, three. Basic. Now your turn. Go. One. <laughs> Why am I marching? I'm literally marching. Look, I have to teach you this, so I'm gonna look bad on TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really okay, your turn again. Ready? Yeah. Slowly. Five, six, seven, one. Okay, do your turn. One, two, three, three. <laughs> no, no, no. She's an amazing teacher. It's just I'm, I'm she's, she's amazing. That was okay. I will, I will give you a solid seven. A solid seven. <laughs> 
She was she is just saying no. Everyone in the room okay, is yeah, laughing. Okay. No, I will give you a solid seven because you learned four basics under this short time. Okay. You got the rhythm. Yeah. Okay, it's just that sometimes you miss the count in the middle. Yeah. And I know the right turn was really stressing you out, but it stresses a lot of people out. I mean, yeah. I don't expect you to get it in your first. Yeah. You've never danced. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the I first time you've done dancing with a partner. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I've gone out. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. No? Then yeah. No. So yeah, yeah, solid seven. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah. You have anything to say to your fans or? Gosh. Uh, to your students. Yeah. I mean, if you guys love dance, or if you want to try Latin dancing, uh, maybe heels, just come join me. I teach at TNA Fitness at my establishment on Wednesdays, Fridays, Sundays. Yeah, pretty much every other day of the week. So just hit me up on Instagram and I uh, hope to see you guys with me. Sorted. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Keeping Up With The Pros. This is Amantha Pereira signing off.